Hello Aquarius, how are you? Welcome to my channel, Star Star Star, and welcome to your reading. So Aquarius, this is your reading for the month of November 2021. And this is a general reading, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Energies might be vice versa and time is fluid, okay? Also Aquarius, I would appreciate if you would hit like, share and subscribe and comment down below if you find yourself getting resonated with this reading. I would also request you to hit that notification bell so that you will be notified whenever I upload the videos uh aquarius in this reading will see what is your energy what is the energy of the person you are thinking about you are dealing with uh we'll see what is the mutual energy between you and this person okay so aquarius uh this person can be a past person of yours this person can be a new person who is interested in you and uh yeah who is interested in you or who will be interested in you okay i'm also going to pull out some romance angel cards although we are going to discuss them at the fag end okay so let's get started now why are the cards are jumping So three of wands, then we have a six of wands and we have a devil for you. And then we have a queen of wands, ten of wands and two of cups. Three of pentacles and the magician as a mutual energy. Let's pull out the romance angel cards. I'll lay down the cards and we'll discuss those cards at the fag end. Okay interesting wow whoa okay awesome so you may be dealing with virgo you may be dealing with gemini you may be dealing with capricorn a strong presence of fire sign over here aries leo sag also hearing scorpio okay if the sign pops up all the better let's not remain fixed on the signs aquarius so we have is three of wands six of wands and the devil i don't know why i just heard fight to finish who fight to finish huh aquarius something is driving you to push your limits something is driving you to succeed something is driving you to change the way you are approaching your life to change the way you are approaching your career to change the way you are approaching your love your love life okay it's like I'm not going to sit idle till the time I win. I'm here to win and I will win. That's that's sort of a that that is the kind of energy I'm getting from 3 of wands, 6 of wands and the devil. Fight to finish. What are you fighting Aquarius? There is some strong drive, there is a strong desire to accomplish something you only know what you want to accomplish there is a strong desire to reach a certain level of success and that strong desire is like driving you crazy or if not crazy it is like It's a, some sort of an obsession I'm feeling over here, Aquarius. Obsession to win. Obsession to show to the world that you are the winner. Obsession to show to the world that... To prove everyone wrong who did not believe in you. Obsession to show to the world that... 
if whosoever did not believe in you you're obsessed to show to them that they were wrong why why i mean why so much of obsession why so much of i mean it's not bad it's good but what has triggered you because i am sensing that this is something that has happened quite recently okay this is something that is a recent energy okay probably it can also be a case like over a period of time like literally over a period of time whatever happened in your life aquarius it got accumulated inside you and now you are feeling like enough is enough now not looking back i'm not going to look back all i'm going to do is i'm going to keep walking forward in my life because i want to feel successful i want to feel happy i want to feel satisfied i am answerable to my ancestors i am answerable to my next generation what did i do in this lifetime i'm answerable to someone i am answerable to myself i'll be ashamed if i did not explore my talent if i did not explore my potential something is driving you aquarius probably every one of you have a different reason that is driving you but there is some something inside you that is burning you every day and night you you are thinking about something yes yes with that devil card i see that obsession day and night you are thinking about something like it can be anything all i know is that you want to succeed day and night you can be thinking about how to improve your business day and night you can be thinking about how to improve yourself day and night you can be thinking about how to reduce my weight day and night you can be thinking about how to make more money day and night you can be thinking about how 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 should i become a millionaire or a billionaire day and night you can be thinking about how how uh, should i uh, attract right kind of people in my life like for every single person the obs obsession is very different okay for every day and night you can be thinking about proving other people wrong who underestimated you okay so the obsession for every single person is different but i clearly see that there is a bit of an obsession there is a bit of a drive that is pushing you what is this i i want you to write down in the comments because definitely aquarius definitely there is something that is pushing you to achieve something bigger and better okay and whatever it is it is it is positive so do, don't worry about this devil card okay it is just denoting some obsession i mean look look obsession is not bad everything in excess is bad okay if even if you exercise in excess it is bad okay if you eat in excess it is bad obsession in excess it is bad i don't see an excess element over here all i see is that there is a, there is bit of an obsession okay every single person who is successful today they have been obsessed about being successful at some point of time in their life and so are you right now you're obsessed about something like i told you the obsession is different for every single person okay all i see is you want to have you want to experience this feeling this victory feeling this accomplished feeling you want to feel accomplished you want to feel successful okay you want to feel like this yes i have done it finally okay you want to feel it from inside that happiness that true happiness from inside probably you experienced only during your childhood you want to experience all over again now okay wow this is so amazing this is really amazing the kind of energy i have experienced right now aquarius like you guys have you guys have motivated me <laughs> thank you <laughs> and uh, what i see is that with a six of wands yes someone is coming back so <laughs> yes someone is coming back now when i say coming back listen when i say coming back it can be it can be a past life soulmate who is coming back it can also be your ex who is coming back because they were obsessed about you someone was crazy about you okay they are coming back right 
then we have is queen of wands we have is ten of wands and we have is two of cups love is happening love is happening all over again okay a beautiful love relation is relationship is about to happen all over again where there is going to be equal give and take where there is going to be lots of love and care where there is going to be loyalty where your expectations will get fulfilled where you're going to fulfill the other person's expectations okay like this is going to be a very beautiful relationship and i see a lot of care for one another okay but before you before you find this true and a loving and a caring relationship you need to drop something aquarius you need to drop something or someone some sort of a burden that you are carrying in your life again i'm saying burden something uh, a situation or a person is burden for you okay your back is paining because of this burden like i'm literally telling you whenever you were in a situation whenever did you feel your back was paining because that was an energetic burden a situation or a person was energetic burden on you okay when when you feel this energetic burden you feel pain in the back sometimes not always but i do feel uh, for you guys you did feel the pain in the back if you are feeling pain in the lower body from below your waist then that is also an indication that a lot of energy was accumulated down okay it's it's like an it is like a gravity probably i had told you guys only in some of the previous readings okay when there is too much of toxicity okay in a in a situation or in a relationship you start feeling pain in the lower body your legs your joints your knees your ankles your waist it it starts paining sometimes your lower back it starts paining sometimes why because you are the toxic energy that you absorb from that situation or from that person it settles down in your body and it settles down uh, there is of course we all know what gravity is okay that uh, gravity pulls that energy down and gra because of gravity that energy settle uh, settles down in the lower part of the body so majority of the times it happens that when you are in a toxic situation when you are in a situation which is not making you happy okay you start feeling the pain in your lower body you start feeling the pain in the lower back okay or or the body below your waist waistline so that's what i'm feeling aquarius before you can find the true love okay repair your back <laughs> as a repair your back i mean that uh, unburden yourself okay unburden yourself first and with that queen of wands yes someone is waiting to enter in your life aquarius someone is waiting someone is ready but you are not ready okay whoever is re uh, ready to enter in your life they are ready since a very long time but you are not ready because you are carrying this unnecessary burden so don't delay the blessings that are meant to come your way aquarius please please okay so the mutual energy is 3 of pentacles and we have magician <clears throat> long term situation is happening soon why it is happening because you are the one who is manifesting this okay you don't know this but you are manifesting a long term situation now let me tell you whatever you want in your life you are manifesting it from a long term perspective like whatever career if you are shifting your careers you are like whatever next career i'm doing it has to be from a long term perspective whatever next i'm going to do in my life it has to be from a long term perspective i don't want anything short term is what you are thinking and so goes with your relationship as well you're manifesting a long term relationship marriage uh a family life growing old with someone i'm also sensing that you're manifesting money uh, manifesting money something you want to build something big okay you're manifesting that and there is someone who is going to enter in your life the new person that is going to enter in in your life they are going to help you build up this empire of yours aquarius you're going to build an uh, you're going to build an empire okay right now let's talk about the romance angel cards okay we have these beautiful cards like when i was laying down the cards i really loved them a lot okay so first one is is wedding the situation involves marriage yay aquarius congratulations marriage is about to happen very soon 
I told you guys there are going to be some changes for you Aquarius in 2022 and I don't know why but I always keep on hearing whenever I do Aquarius's reading I always keep on hearing April, May, June, July this mid period of the year uh, yeah mid year of 2022 around that time release your ex time has come to clear your energy unburden yourself what was I saying hmm Worth waiting for divine timing is at work in your love life. Have some patience. Things will fall in place. Have some patience. Very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. I told you, right? I told you, Aquarius. Someone is ready for you. Okay? You are not ready. You are dealing your blessings. Okay? Because you need to drop this. After you drop the burdens, this is going to come towards you. So decide what is it that you want. Okay. You want to carry this burden. Okay. Fine. Carry. Okay. You will. This is. This will get delayed. So very soon. Decide what, what is it that you want. So that it comes to you now. Past life relationship. You have known each other before. Your past life soulmate is resurfacing. Aquarius. Brace yourself. Engagement. Your love life is ascending to higher levels of commitment. Are you kidding me? Oh my god. We have wedding and we have engagement. Okay. Awesome. I should start doing readings for 2022 now. <laughs> Calling your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations and visualizations help you bring together. I, I would suggest Aquarius start doing vision board. Vision board will help you reach your goals pretty fast. You know, something is driving you. I don't want you to walk down the wrong path. Okay. Use your energy properly. Channel your energy properly. Okay. Use your energy productively so that you will get the results faster, but in quality manner. Okay. You, you go and search on the internet how to do a vision board. Vision board will help you a lot. Please go ahead and do that. You will find ample, amples and amples of video and articles on how to do a vision board. There is no set way on how to do that. Okay, but you will you will have a broad framework on how to how to do a vision board. Vision board will really help you and manifest your dreams in reality. Okay, your dreams will come to fruition. Calling your soulmate, did I say that? Yeah, visualizations will help you bring together. You are going to need a vision board to visualize your future. Okay. All right, Aquarius, I hope this resonates. Hit like, share and subscribe and comment down below. Till then, bye-bye.